Well, this is the number one issue in Westminster at the moment. It seems that they just can't stop, stop banging on about Europe. That one thing that David Cameron promised her he would never do has come back to haunt him. And Ed Miliband really trying to give the message there that David Cameron might be talking tough on Europe. He may be giving the impression that he's standing up to people on Europe. But in Ed Miliband's view, can he actually deliver? He was repeatedly pressing him on how he would fight if there was a, a referendum. And he also uh, made the point uh, that actually he thinks that he may be talking tough on Europe, but is this going to actually, uh, is he going to actually get what he wants? Referencing, for example, the row that he had over the new president of the European Commission, John claude Juncker. This is what Mr Miliband had to say. There's no point giving us the fight them on the beaches speech, because the last time he tried that was over Jean-Claude Juncker, and he lost 26 votes to two. That's his leadership in Europe. Now, everyone will have heard his weasel words. He won't be straight with his backbenchers, and he won't be straight with the British people. He had a referendum on AV, and his position was crystal clear. He was for no. He had a referendum on Scotland, and his position was crystal clear, no. He wants a referendum on the EU. No ifs, no buts. Is he for in or is he for out? The problem, of course, is going on Europe is uh, that David Cameron saw it coming. So he had a certain number of things uh, prepared. They'd obviously uh, anticipated that Ed Miliband might be asking questions on that. So he had various quotes from people within the Labour Party that he took great pleasure in reading out. The MP for Dudley Law, for example, the shadow leader of the House. The Conservative MPs certainly enjoyed this exchange. You can watch William Hager uh, next to uh, David Cameron, who appears to be trying to contain his laughter. He says, he concludes, we are a moribund party. That is, that's not the view of the commentators. It's not the view of the backbenchers. It's the view of the frontbenchers. It's official. It's a dead parrot. It's a dead parrot, so a bit of a Monty Python gag there uh, from David Cameron. Not very parliamentary language, you might say. And he went even further as well, actually, when he was talking about John Prescott. I think it's a bit of a double-edged sword, this. Some people will say that it's actually very funny. It certainly gets a reaction from uh, the House. Others will say that, actually, this is why they want to switch off from Prime Minister's questions, this kind of very aggressive gladiatorial uh, fight. Make up your own mind. This is the gag uh, from David Cameron and the reaction it got from the rest of the House. Very noisy. This comes at the end of a week when the last Labour Chancellor has said the Tories are right over a referendum. It comes at the end of the week when the shadow deputy leader of the House has said Labour is in a dreadful position. And it comes at the end of a week when even John Prescott has said they got a problem and that they can't communicate in English. That is the case. That's it. When you get a lecture from John Prescott on the English language, you're really in trouble. Everyone can see it. A leader in crisis, a party with nowhere to go. So extraordinary levels of noise there and a very sort of barbed gag there at John Prescott uh, from uh, David Cameron. Now, on the wider issues of Europe, I think it is going to be harder for David Cameron to get what he wants, of course. That goes without saying. Um, and I think, too, it's one of these things where he is damned if he does, damned if he doesn't, because he knows that he needs to go and uh, make a stand on Europe and, 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 and head off this opposition he's got on Europe. What we have heard uh, within uh, the, last, the, the last few hours, uh, certainly as Prime Minister's questions was going on, is uh, John Claude Young himself, who David, to uh, Ed Miliband quoted there uh, at David Cameron, has actually made a few comments about the Prime Minister. He said, I don't have a problem with David Cameron, he has a problem with other Prime Ministers. So I think that's something perhaps Labour will want to seize on because it certainly plays into their argument that David Cameron is a man without many allies in Europe. 